And most days after dancing all day, I'll walk in the door and, you know, some people sit on the couch and have a glass of wine. I'll just immediately go to my sewing machine or start cutting something new. I'm usually daydreaming all day about it. So <laughs> once I get home, it's time to unwind. And this is a big part of how I do that. Once I get sewing, it is really hard to stop. So I try to avoid doing it before I go to work because if I start, it's all I want to do that day. And I love finishing projects. I just think, you know, that's the really exciting part. So if I have to leave it half done, it's really challenging. I guess mostly I'm inspired by dance. I feel like there's a lot of parallels between dance and design. There are certain lines of a dancer's body that you want to emphasize, like the length of leg and, you know, the collarbone and the neck. You know, I think that there are a lot of ways to uh, create leotards that emphasize things that are visually pleasing of a dancer. A lot of my designs really revolve around that. To me, a good leotard is one that has the perfect fit. You almost don't feel that it's, <laughs> you don't notice it. That's when you know you've done a good job. So I have basically three stations now. I have a place where I do my pinning and cutting, a place where I will do my initial basting stitches, and then I have another place where I serge, and that's kind of my main workspace. I store all my fabrics and all my equipment, and that all fits into my closet. <laughs> I would love for down the road to, for this to become another career. Uh, dancing is pretty short and you know once you reach your mid 30s you know you're lucky if you can continue past that so the more I've gotten into you know starting my own business I've been doing a lot of research and it is shocking how many people are doing the same exact thing as me in some ways that's really intimidating but at the end of the day I guess this is something that I love doing so anytime I create a piece it's really exciting to me because I don't know where it's gonna go or exactly you know, what it's going to turn out like, and I feel like that process of creating is really exciting for me. To me, there's nothing more exciting than seeing fabric in its flat form and the different textures and possibilities that it could have, and then drawing up a design and taking something that you've imagined and creating it into this 3D, real piece. I mean, I think that's so thrilling. Each time you create a theme and each time you get to see it come to life, it's just kind of magical. <laughs>